Welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. This is the Sexton 1. It's a Tier 3 British Premium SPG. One of only two premiums in the game. I wonder why Wargaming haven't brought out more. Anyway, this one is on the South Spawn of Steps and it's under the command of Yo Yo Giddy of Reborn. Okay, battle started. Now, the chief advantage of the Sexton 1 over the Sexton 2 is the penetration of that 25 pounder. It's 44 millimeters instead of 22 for the Sexton 2. And that makes a big difference because this RT can fire AP rounds as well as the standard HE. And the HE will do 280 alpha, penetrating 44 millimeters of armor. But the AP rounds, the premium ones, will go through 92 millimeters of armor, does 180. And the standard AP will go through 71 millimeters of armor and does also 180. So it's the penetration that actually makes the huge difference with this RT. That, of course, being a premium RT means that it's got uh, much better earning on the XP, which means your crew gets better quicker, and that means you get higher accuracy and faster reload. Now, she did have a Panzer 38. Oh, my God, she got a kill. A blind kill on the Panzer 38T. She fired around in, anticipating he was still there, and he was. So she's got her first kill of the game. She fires one in at Panzer 3E. It was on his move down to the west side. Didn't get a kill on that one, though. Switch targets to Armada 38T now. No, that one's slightly off target. Within the rescue, but not fully dialed in. She's almost dialed in now, ready to go. If that Marda stays where he is. Oh, she switches to the T-56, fires one at him. Just misses him for two, 22 hit points. The 25 pounder round has got a burst radius of 1.39 meters. So you have to get pretty close to get some splash damage. But she took out the Marda 38T with a direct hit. So that's her second kill of the game. And we're already three kills up on the enemy. Okay, she's dialed in on me. Grant gets a direct hit for 73. She going for a second shot on him. Rounds out. This looks good. Yes, it's a kill shot. Okay, Striv M40L. It's the tier 3 Swedish light tank. She's dialing in. She fires blind. No, misses him, but he's on the move. And he's been badly damaged now. And he's stationary. I think he's tracked. And he's killed. Okay, there's a 14 TP behind him. That's a Polish tank. Tier 4 Polish tank. But she can still penetrate his armor. Oh, he's hiding behind that rock. So we can't get him for the moment. He's in defilade. Moment he comes out from behind there, we should be able to put a round into him. But in the meantime, enemy RT has been spotted up in the north. He's about to get killed by that Panzer 1C. And we're looking at that M2 mediums also being attacked by Panzer 1C. And I don't think he's going to last very long either. Oh, Yo Yo Giddy's got three kills. I think she'd like some more. Okay, M2 medium out in the open. She's marked that as her next target. She's dialing in. That's it. Slowly and steadily. She's dialed in. She's ready to go. Rounds out. And she got a direct hit. The shell disappeared without an explosion. She switched targets to a Smur S35 instead because she can see him. And round out on him. A direct hit for 74. The M2 medium is being farmed by the Panzer 1C. That was the one that Yo-Yo Giddy hit. And she's now going for the T-56 GMC. Rounds out. Oh, I don't know how that one didn't hit. It should have been a direct hit. She's still firing HE. He's on the move. She's got to lead the target. Fires the round in. And she gets a kill. Even though he was on the move, he was taken out. That's her fourth kill. She's now going off to the Samur S-35. Oh, he's still he's on the move as well but only slightly rounds out direct hit for 85 hit points everyone's going in he's the last enemy and he's dead 
And it's game over. And that's a really good victory with four kills for Giddy Liddy. Or is it now Yo-Yo Giddy, actually? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's an ace tanker for Yo-Yo Giddy in the Sexton one. In fact, this is the first ace tanker she's had in this vehicle, but it won't be the last. She shows uh, a good degree of expertise on dialing in and getting the hits on the target. She got a fighter match for getting at least four kills. She did get four. And a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. She got eight in total. Her win eight from that game was 5,887. Let's have a look at the team score. Top of the table. She didn't get the high caliber because it wasn't over 1,000 hit points in total. But she got close. 877, the highest damage in the game. She also managed to get the highest number of kills. Four. Uh, the next high scorer only had half that many. And when it came to base XP, she got the highest in that as well. So the top in all three columns. 603 base experience points for Yo-Yo Giddy. 597 for the Panzer 1C. 484 for the Lurks. She fired 14 rounds, got 8 direct hits and 3 penetrations, 7 splash as well, 877 hit points of damage, all of it done at more than 300 meters. She damaged 6 of the enemy, killed 4 and did 106 hit points of damage assistance. She earned 31,382 credits on a premium count, got 65,691 from Holiday Ops, total 97,073 credits. And after ammunition resupply and consumables, she took away 75,911 credits. She received 904 XP times 2 for the first victory, got 543 for per premium vehicle tier, and 2,352 experience points altogether. So that was a very good game in the Sexton 1. Shows that some of the players who've been, received them over Christmas in the loot boxes are now putting them to good use. In fact, this game took place on the 13th of January, and you can see that in the few couple of weeks that Yo Yo Giddy's had this, she's now managed to ace it and she's got a decent crew in it, which means from now on she should be getting very good results and using it as a training vehicle. It's, it's still a matter of um, great curiosity to me to why Wargaming don't bring out more premium arties. After all, most of the premium arties are actually at the lower tiers, and obviously the uh, Unicums and the best players aren't at those levels they are at the tier eights tier nines and tier tens so they don't have to face premium vehicles at all and so it must only be the whining of the lower tier players that they keep getting hit by op rt well it's not really op actually it's um only op if you do the silly thing of sitting there in the open like those players did in this game and uh, if they'd actually move then they might not get actually hit. But as you see, uh, the, a couple of those uh, tanks did move and they still got hit <laughs> because they made their moves obvious. Well, it seems that they've got a lot to learn, but Yo-Yo Giddy doesn't. She's actually got it quite right now. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thank you for watching.